Hey everyone, RJ here with CV Tech. We all knew this speed test was coming. Let's get it started. Okay, so here on the left we have the Samsung Galaxy S9. On the right, the ZTE Blade V8 Pro. Now, this is flagship versus budget mid range type device here. Now, we all know that the Samsung is gonna, gonna beat out the Blade V8 Pro. I mean, if it didn't, there's a major problem. But I wanna just, you know, do this little speed test comparison here to see just how much faster the Galaxy S9 is over the Blade V8 Pro. And as far as price goes, you're looking at a phone that costs $700 versus a phone that costs about $125 to $150. So we'll just see how much better the Galaxy S9 is over the Blade V8 Pro. So let's go ahead and get in with this test. Okay, so looking here at both phones, we are here now at the testing screen. Now, here on the ZTE Blade V8 Pro, it does have a 1080p display. So I'm going to go ahead and show you all right now that I have the Samsung uh, in full 1080 as well. Go into display here, and you will see right here that it is indeed set at full HD plus 2220 by 1080 and that's what I'm going to do this test in uh, for this so let's go ahead and run down a few specs on these devices now here on the Samsung Galaxy S9 we are running the 2.8 gigahertz octa core Snapdragon 845 with an Adreno 630 GPU with 4 gigabytes of RAM and 64 gigabytes of storage on the ZTE Blade V8 Pro, we have the 2 GHz Octa Core Snapdragon 625 with an Adreno 506 GPU with 3 GB of RAM and 32 GB of internal storage. So let's look at a few benchmarks here. Let's go into Geekbench 4, and you will see that the Galaxy S9 completely dominates it. Single core and multi core, 24 26 single core score, 83 22 multi core score, and 846 single core score, and 29 33 multi core score on the blade. We are in an 8.0 Oreo here. And 6.0.1 Marshmallow over here. So a much older version of Android here on the Blade V8 Pro. Now here on N22, the Galaxy S9 wipes it away at 262,969 and 74,851 here on the Blade V8 Pro. So by these scores, the Galaxy S9 should just wipe it away. Not even a test, not even a speed test comparison. Should just go ahead and just give Samsung the win right now and just say, okay, it's got it. So anyway, just for the fun of it, we're going to run this test. Going to clear everything out. All the apps has been updated and ready to go. Side by side, it's all cleared out. Everything is dead even. So let's go ahead and get in with a speed test comparison starting now. That was the Galaxy S9. U2. Uh, that was the Galaxy S9. Uh, calculator. That was about even there. Let's go into calendar. That was even. Let's go into clock. Galaxy S9 by a little bit there. Google Plus. That was the Galaxy S9. Let's go into the camera. That was pretty close, but I believe the Galaxy S9 did have it. Let's go into Amazon Shopping. And the Galaxy S9 took it. Let's go into Instagram. So pretty close there, not far off. Let's go into the Play Store. So the Galaxy S9 took it once again. Let's go into Settings, Galaxy S9. Let's go into Snapchat. A little bit slower there on the on the blade, but S9 took it. Let's go into Twitter. So that was the Galaxy S9. Let's go into Netflix. So pretty close, but the Galaxy S9 did take it. Let's go into Temple Run 2. This should be a flat out runaway on the Galaxy S9. And uh, yeah, pretty much on, on there ready to play. And it's still loading up here on the Blade V8 Pro. So game is where you're going to see the biggest difference here on the Galaxy S9 versus the Blade V8 Pro. Let's go into Subway Surfer. Yep, loading right up there on the Galaxy S9. Still waiting there on the blade. 
and so ready to play here ready to roll already good to go already playing the game and waiting on the blade there we go so let's go ahead and go back home here and go into dead trigger and the galaxy s9 did take it over the blade v8 pro so let's go ahead right now uh, and we'll run through some multitasking here to see if there's any reloads on either device um, and then i will give my final thoughts and just kind of share with you a couple of things here about this test whenever it's finished let's go ahead back into dead trigger so both were open and ready to go now it really don't matter how fast it opens this is just basically seeing which one holds them open in the background without having to reload anything let's go into subway surfer both were open let's go in temple run 2 both were ready to roll let's go into netflix both of them were open twitter both were good snapchat bit of a glitch there but both of them were open let's go into settings both were open play store both were open instagram ready to roll amazon shopping ready to roll on both uh, we'll skip camera go into google plus both were open let's go into clock both were open calendar both were ready to go uh, calculator a little bit of a reload there on the blade v8 pro youtube a reload there on the blade v8 pro and the bible here open had to reload there so pretty much hung with the galaxy s9 up until like the last couple of apps and like i said we all knew that the galaxy s9 was going to take this speed test uh and every test but is it really that much faster for everyday usage okay as you've seen the first part of the test the galaxy s9 was only ahead by about a, what a half a second if that on most apps and we got a phone here running the latest 845 processor you know versus a 625 processor a phone that costs 700 dollars versus a phone that costs 150 dollars now yes cameras are the best on the galaxy s9 would dominate any phone i have speed is quick no problems it should be for an 845 processor gaming yeah it's going to dominate the v8 pro no problem we all know that that's self-explanatory don't even need this test to really even tell you that but for everyday usage just going through the apps going through social media looking through facebook instagram twitter whatever the case may be it hung with the galaxy s9 you know it was not like a landslide like you know instagram opened 10 seconds faster than the blade v8 pro it was within within a half a second behind so my thought is shouldn't the galaxy s9 be a whole lot faster and opening everyday apps in the blade v8 pro i think so i think it should be like instantaneous they're on the same wi-fi network both of them are in airplane mode so there is no network connected to any other than the wi-fi so it's a fair comparison yes the galaxy s9 did take it no question there but the blade v8 pro was hanging on pretty good by only you know coming in less than half a second behind every app other than games behind the galaxy s9 so seven hundred dollars versus a hundred and twenty five dollars what do y'all think leave it down in the comments what y'all think about this little speed test comparison if this was helpful and informative hit that like button subscribe to my channel i really appreciate it y'all have a good one and thanks for watching